I thought I'd do a little video on some cool effects I got from using the Supernova tool on GIMP. And I'll start with this car here. I took this photo of this car in Bahaba, Maine as it was going down Main Street and what I did was I removed the background from this photo which you'll see in the next in the next photo you see I removed the background and once I removed the background I copied and pasted the car onto another photo of some stars which I got free online doing a public domain photo search for stars and then I placed my car on top of that and pasted it in place I then went to GIMP which I'll show you how I did it here in a second I went to GIMP oh that's not GIMP I went to my GIMP and these are two other brushes that I've done which I'm going to get to in a second but I went to GIMP and then the filters go down to light and shadow and right here you have a tool called Supernova and that's how I get these effects for the eyes and for the headlights of the car. And these come out pretty cool too, but I'll get to those in a second. So once I went to Supernova, I did each of the headlights one at a time, and I adjusted the Supernova. There's like two or three things you can adjust in there, and I adjusted them until I got the desired effect that I wanted. And then I placed one in this headlight here, then I went back and I placed another one in this headlight here. And then I saved as a, as a photo, not as a brush. I saved it as a photo. And that's how I did the car, which I think come out pretty cool. The next thing I, the next one I did using Supernova was I found this kind of old photo of a old sketch of a, I guess it's a, Maybe a Nazi soldier with a gas mask on, maybe? Not sure, but anyway, I found this old photo. And again, what I did was I removed the background from this. To create this guy. This is... With the background added, which kind of makes it look a little bit like a doomsday effect. And this is without the background. And again, I went to the um, GIMP tool, Supernova. And I did one eye at a time. And I made the adjustments. Because I didn't want to have to have the same amount of ray, the rays coming way out like I did for the car. So I adjusted the, the rays of light. Kind of downplayed it a little bit and give it that glowing look sort of like kind of has a robotic feel to it which I think came out pretty cool and these two brushes here the one with the background and the one without the background you can find these at my website which there'll be a link down below at the bottom of the page beneath this video there'll be a link and they're available free and I believe they're inside of my skull package and all my gimp brushes are free so you can download them and use them any way you want And hopefully you'll find some creative ways to use the Supernova tool as well.